Okay, ready? Action. Okay, I go by Zoe. Zoe Ray Artistry. All right, I am Zoe. Go by Zoe Ray Artistry. And All right, let's go. Action. Oh. <laughs> Action. All right, because now nah, I just need to get loose. I wish I had a glass of wine. So we're back with a new video and today we're going to talk about Lord David Nurman. If this is something you like to watch, continue to watch, please join this channel. I am Zoe Ray, Zoe Ray Artistry and here on this channel we talk about a little bit of fashion, waxing and makeup and hair, whatever else I feel like talking about from time to time. But let's get back to what we was discussing. David Nurman. So your girl has been getting into jewelry lately and I mean a lot of jewelry. Um, I'm in my 30s. I believe it's time for me to stop wearing costume jewelry and start to investing in real jewelry. I feel like at a certain age or a certain time of your life, it's time to invest into some long piece statement, some long good jewelry. And nonetheless, nevertheless, nonetheless, y'all know what I'm trying to say. You can pass this stuff down to your kids, to your grandkids, all that good stuff. So I'm starting to be a fan of David Yerman. I never really got into them. Um, I remember a while back when I used to work with um, Lloyd and Taylor, and I used to get Saks Fifth discounts or yeah, Saks Fifth discounts. And my cousin got a pair of David Yerman earrings, and to me, it was giving old granny, honestly. But as you get older, you starting to see a little value in certain things. And I don't know what started making me gravitate to them, but I've been loving me some David Yerman. So I said, you know what, sis? The time, the time. The day is the day. The time is the time for you to be a big girl and start investing into some jewelry. So lately, I have been getting some jewelry. Not only that, the hipster, he's been buying me some jewelry, like the earrings I got on now. He bought me these, I believe, last Valentine's Day. And I used to wear fake studs. <laughs> he was like, you know what? Enough is enough. I cannot have your girl. I cannot have my girl walking around with fake studs and he walking around with real ones, which is true because girls love diamonds. So he, of course, bought me some real studs. And I think that's like kicked off the real jewelry game because when you start getting a certain age, come on now, it is time to start investing in jewelry. And not only that, I didn't know that jewelry can be affordable in some aspects. Like, I love gold. I never knew I can get some gold, like $100 or $200. You know, I'm thinking gold, well, certain type of gold. Like, the gold I like is like 10 k 14 k I like dainty jewelry. I don't like nothing too loud, nothing too big. I'm dainty, nonetheless. So everything I probably buy, like my jewelry, for the most part, be like four or five hundred dollars. And if you find it on sale, like a hundred or something dollars. So, like recently, I just got this necklace from Saks Fifth. It's my long Italian. It was an Italian horn, meaning to protect and good luck. And I found this in Saks Fifth, y'all. And oh my god, it was so cute and dainty. And so I was like, I have to get this, add this onto my collection. I also bought some gold. Um, ball stubs um i got i got that from Saks. so come to think about it a lot of jewelry i got a lot of my gold pieces i got from Saks. that's another um good source is from Saks fifth or off Saks. they have some good some good pieces and i got that from there you know my cousin just recently blessed me with my pandora and we left this for us and then my engagement ring so, nonetheless, I did a lot of rumbling. Let's get into this David Yurin piece I have recently got. I haven't got My father got it for me. And, of course, it's already come wrapped up in a box. I've actually wore this already. I just tried to wrap it back up with a good presentation. I got my bag. They gave me a booklet of different pieces and things of that nature. I actually bought my fiance a David Yerman bracelet for Father's Day. Was it last year, year before last? One of those years. And then another little, um, this is my receipt. My receipt, a death cloth, or I think this is a cloth you can put your, 
uh, not a cloth, a little bag you can put your jewelry in. And then I think they do be a dust cloth. And then a dust cloth, a dust cloth to wipe your jewelry off. Um, this card, it reads, Thank you for choosing a piece of a beautiful artistry from Damon Uren. Your original and authentic design bears the hallmark of D. Uren or D.Y. Assurance that it's authentic and quality. For more information about caring for your jewelry, please scan this code below or visit Damon Uren slash product care. So, that's what they give you. All that good stuff. Now, the piece I have, I was looking at three rings. I will actually pop up a video of how I want to do what I'm doing. They're called stockable rings. These are so cute if you want to get your foot into the David Newman world. The stockable rings are like pieces where they're just very cute, very dainty. Like you can just stock them, like you can have some, some ring candy and it'll be gorgeous. So I start off with the basic ring, which is the cable ring. So it comes in this beautiful box. And this is the cable ring. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at the focus. Okay. Here we go. So this is the cable ring. As you guys know, David Newman is known for their cable wrapped around cords. I'm trying to do a little close up. I keep getting blurry. Maybe if I bring it back. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, it went back blurry. Let me see, how can I get it back focus? Oh, okay. Nevertheless, okay, there we go. Nonetheless, nevertheless, it's cable wrapped. That's why they call it the cable ring. And you can stack these up. Now, my size. Now, for some reason, these bands are very thick. So, I had to get a size 7 because I got it in my middle finger. But my engagement ring is a size 5. I got, when he bought me this ring, he did a six the six was too big we did then we broke it down to a five and a half five and a half it was still floppy so we got a five or we had to you know take it back so they can give me a five so i instantly thought that this finger will be a size six i was wrong this is a seven and i believe because it's a if you look closely and i like my ring to be snug it's like a double band inside it's like a double band right in that area and I think this is why it's extra thick so I had to get a size 7 and this is 925 this is uh, sterling silver and now mind y'all I'm not of a silver girl I am a gold girl but the way I am going to walk this is going to be mixed metal so my next one is going to be sterling silver with 14 curry gold trimmed around it and at the tip and then it's another ring that's sterling silver. Is that 14 karat gold? Is it 14 karat gold or sterling silver? And it also has gold trimmed around it. So the way I want to rock it is going to be mixed metal. So it's going to go perfect with my gold accessories and my silver accessories and all that good stuff. But I feel like if you want to start into your dainty jewelry and a good brand, go with Damon Yarman. Like... I know right now it's giving mm, grandma rich, but they have some good pieces. And if you just like see what you can hook up with it, because it's like a dress up, dress down statement pieces, you can't go wrong. Like they have bands that's so cute, earrings I'm planning on to invest, and none of the less is just a good jewelry line. So this is my first piece to come. I will be adding more, and I will be bringing more to this channel. Um, and none of the less, none of the less, why does I keep saying none of the less, y'all, what is it, is it none of the less or none of the less, whatever, y'all know I don't want to talk, anywho, I'm your girl Zoe, Zoe Ray Artistry, and this is this, this is my, this is my, my first piece from Devin Yeoman, and I'm truly excited, and I can't wait to 
get more. Oh, and also this is on a wish list, so we can knock this off. Anywho, though loves you. Until next time, deuces.